Greetings everyone, I am RSV. Firstly, let's talk about the Cine Point Weapon series. The series requires free Arms Refiner to get to class 50, and requires a grand total of 1200 Photon Scales to completely max it out. This means you need to do the Dark Fool's Urgent Quest 100 times to fully max out a single Cine Point Weapon. However, it is worth doing so because the Cine Point series will out damage the Relic series at max range. However, I haven't yet done the math on exactly when the Cine Point series will surpass the Relic series. However, with a high level of potency floor, the Cinequim series will surpass at least Harmonious, but if your potency floor is low, i.e. you don't have an Addy Deft for your Cinequim weapon, your Harmonious weapon, if it already has an Addy Deft or not, will pull ahead. But keep this in mind when upgrading. Just because you can upgrade doesn't mean it's a good idea right now. If you do not have the Addy Deft augments or similar Addy augments, it will cost you an arm and a leg to obtain them, so keep this in mind when upgrading. But now onto the main event, the Sports Armor series. One for each weapon type. However, they all have the same baseline stats, 2% potency, 3 PP, 25 health, and a decent amount of armor. There is a very clear problem here immediately though. They only have 3 PP on them. In, now, in a previous video, I said that building for PP in particular is a bit of a trap. The reason for this is on the Giant and Greatest armor, we get 10 and 13 PP. In this armor series, however, we only get 3. So while the armor set is defensively better than Grias or Giant, it is sorely lacking in the offense category because of PP. Sure, we have a potency armor now that doesn't decrease our stats, but now it does not have the PP to keep up. And no, building suboptimally to fix the problems of the armor isn't viable in terms of meta. Meta accounts for the best case scenario of a unit or weapon. So in the case of Giant, building Dreadkeeper on Giant to Deal with the health is suboptimal versus not building it and taking out Secreta free and making that discrepancy worse. So keep in mind that trying to fix a problem by changing your meta build will actually hurt your damage overall even if you are trying to fix a problem that you see. Do remember though that I'm talking about most efficient meta not most effective meta and most effective meta can vary so be sure to make the distinction between efficiency and effectiveness but is the swartz armor truly stronger than gs or grant but is the swartz armor truly stronger than gs or grant arguably no there are a couple of problems with this armor one as i mentioned there are three sets of it meaning that no hybrid build can use them and hybrid builds are still stuck using gear and Grias arm the other thing i'd like to point out is that the armor set itself is fairly inconvenient while over Grias it does give you 195 health you do lose 30 pp versus Grias. and while one will clearly give you more bp over the other it is clear which one is going to help you more offensively than defensively but again the main thing that you should be considering if you want to upgrade to these armors is if you have the Addy Deft Augments or the Addy Augments that you want to use on those units already. You do not want to buy three Relic Weapons worth of capsules just to move to a temporary unit set. It is important to remember that these unit sets will be replaced in the near future. And the same goes for the Cinequin Weapons. The Relic Weapons for the most part are fairly comparable. If you are not online to get the Photon Scales required to actually use a Cinequin Weapon, then you're probably not even at that point at the moment. It is important to remember that not everyone has a Relic Weapon yet, and I will say to keep in mind that Cinequin is an upgrade versus the Quintel series weapons but there's also another option if you need a quick power boost that is cheap and that is using the evil cult or Straga weapons as they will also be an upgrade over Quintel, Gothica and Fivla series at the moment. However they will not be an upgrade if you've already spent the arms refiner on them so keep that in mind but if you are in a position where you do not want to spend your arms refiner on those series and you want a cheaper alternative and are looking for an upgrade Evil Cult or Strugger may be an option for you to choose from, as these two weapon series in the Arms Refiner patch essentially got a stealth buff, and it is fair to consider them as a stopgap measure, as they only require one Arms Refiner each, being a four-star piece of equipment. Otherwise, I've been RSV, I hope my guide was useful to you, and I will see you next time.